In the late 1940s, the Soviet Union introduced a new aircraft, the Antonov An-2. It was a big, clumsy-looking biplane intended for utility and crop-dusting roles and led to love in the West and Soviet backwardness. The An-2 had a last laugh since it proved an immensely useful aircraft, was built in huge quantities and is still in intensive service all over the world. During World War II, the Soviet Union made extremely good use of the Little Polycarpo PO-2 biplane, which was a hard trainer, but was pressed into a wide range of other roles, including liaison aircraft, light attack aircraft, crop duster, and air ambulance. The PO-2 may not have seemed like much, but it did a super job, and after the war, it would be replaced by a bigger and better successor. Antonov designed a large single a bay biplane of all-metal construction with an enclosed cockpit and a cabin with seats for 12 passengers. The first prototype, designed SKH-1 and powered by a Schwetzo ASH-21 radial engine, flew on 31st August 1947. The second prototype was fitted with a more powerful Schwetzo ASH-62 engine, which allowed the aircraft's payload to be significantly increased from 1,300 to 2,140 kg, and it is formed and was ordered into production. The AN-2 is commonly used as a light utility transport, parachute drop aircraft, agricultural work and other tasks suited to a large slow biplane. Its slow flight and good short field performance make it suited for short, unimproved fields and some specialized variants have also been built for cold weather and other extreme environments. The Guinness Book of World Records states that the 45-year production run for the AN-2 was for a time the longest ever. The AN-2 is equipped with various design features would make it suitable for operation in remote areas with unsurfaced airstrips. It is fitted with a pneumatic brake system to stop on shore runways long with an airline attached to the compressor so the pressure in the tires and shock absorbers can be adjusted without the need for installing specialized equipment. The batteries, while sizable, are relatively easy to remove, so the aircraft does not need a ground power unit to supply power for starting the engine. Likewise, there is no need for an external fuel pump to refuel the aircraft as it is provided with an inbuilt onboard pump which allows the tanks to be filled from simple fuel drums. The AN-2's ability looks and flight characteristics and its status as one of the world's biggest single-engine production biplanes mean the demand for the AN-2 is increasing in Western Europe and the United States, where they are priced by collectors of classic aircraft, making it an increasingly common sight at air shows. Many Western countries prohibited the use of the AN-2 commercially because the aircraft has not been certified by the relevant national aviation authorities. These restrictions vary by country, but all prevent the AN-2 being used for any for-profit purpose, with the exception of the United States, where AN-2s imported since 1993. 